Hello everyone, it's Maha. I'm making this video tonight to share with you a really cool technique that I've discovered recently for burning my loose incense. So my all my dried herbs and spices, dried flowers and resins and this is such an amazing technique. I can't wait to share it with you. I also wanted to show you my cauldron because it's something that's fairly new to me that I'm excited about. And I thought I'd make this a tag video uh, because I'm just personally really curious about other people's cauldrons and I want to see what everybody else has and maybe hear about if you're comfortable with sharing uh, how uh, you use cauldron magic, what kind of things you like to do. A few months ago, um, back in January of this year, I, I really, really wanted to begin using a cauldron, having a cauldron, my own cauldron, and start using it. But I didn't really know where to start and I went online and on YouTube searching for just beginner information like really really basic cauldron uh, magic and how to begin uh, using a cauldron. Surprisingly though I didn't really find much out there. I found a few videos, some okay ones. One really good one that I was inspired by done by Joey Morris. I'm going to link it down below in the description menu. And uh, that's actually a really nice video. I was inspired by it. She shares uh, some of her cauldrons and uh, shares how she uses cauldron magic. And that was really, really nice to see. And um, I thought I'd just make a video talking about my little cauldron that I have here, which is nothing really fancy. It's, it's, uh, okay, so I have this little pot that's I think it's stainless steel it's not anything too heavy and I got this from my mother's stuff I just was looking at some of the stuff that she didn't want anymore and then I said, oh, what's this? I've been, it really looks like a cauldron to me. And she said she has no idea uh, how she actually got it and she had no use for it. She thinks it used to belong to my grandma, but she wasn't really sure. So it comes from Iran. And in Iran, they use these type of cauldron containers uh, for cooking. I should say they used in the past they use these for cooking although right now they still use it some people use still use it to cook inside of but mm, it's mostly just used for decoration you can find them in porcelain in uh, ceramic in uh, heavy more like cast iron as well and many different shapes and sizes even colors so I got this one at the same time as I stumbled upon a video on YouTube by uh, Still Huntress, which I'm also going to link down below, where she shows how to burn loose incense without the use of charcoal. And that's actually another reason why I couldn't really have a cauldron or I, I wasn't really sure if I should, just because of my living situation, I can't really have burning charcoal inside the house. Also it causes too much smoke and I have a pet parrot as some of you already know so I just didn't want to have too much smoke in the house. And smoke, just just even burning sage, like um, smudge sticks, even those ones are too strong for me, it always gave me kind of a headache. I felt like I always have to light them outside and um, felt kind of sick using them inside. Now though, since I discovered this technique, which I highly recommend for you guys, if you watch Still Huntress's video, she beautifully describes in detail how to burn your loosened scents using a tea light candle. And at the same time as I had discovered this 
cool little part here, I uh, came across that um, video. So what I did is I basically used her techniques inside this cauldron. So I've got um, rock salt inside here and a tea light candle. As you can see, the residues of my rosemary and all the herbs are inside also. And so I just place a folded aluminum and she describes it in detail in the video on top of this. Well, just like that. And then that's on top of that, I will throw in anything I want. So I burn rose petals that smell so beautiful. Dried lavender smells amazing, you guys. It's nothing like burning the lavender straight or burning anything in straight. For example, I used to, I wasn't really too in love with the smell of sage. Some people might find that strange, but yeah, like I said, it was too strong for me just burning it. But ever since I discovered this technique, I'm just burning some sage now. I'm, I've just fallen in love with sage. You can really smell the actual herb, you know, like for example, if you, if you use rosemary this way, dried rosemary, oh my gosh, it just smells so, 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 so beautiful. You don't smell the smoke, you just smell the, the like the pure essence of the plant. So I use sage this way and Rosemary is my favorite to use this way. Oh, I almost use that every night. Frankincense. Um, one of my favorites is burning Palo Santo wood this way. Now, I always used to... I actually really preferred Palo Santo to sage myself because it is more gentle just burning the stick. I have one stick right here. But let me tell you, with this technique, putting the Palo Santo on top of that aluminum foil... It just starts drizzling and it starts to give off this such magical scent. It's a magical experience actually burning Palo Santo this way. So what happens is that instead of burning the wood or the resin or the herb, you're in using this technique, you're slowly cooking it. So that allows for all its the scents and the oils to diffuse into the air slowly and it just smells so lovely. It's amazing. It totally changes the energy of the room, I find. Uh, so that's one way I use my cauldron now. Another thing I do is I like to charge my magical tools or crystals uh, by leaving them inside my cauldron, of course, when the tea light is off and then just closing the lid and leaving, their, leaving them inside the cauldron overnight. I feel like the the interior part of the cauldron is just pure cleansing energy so whatever i put in there i feel like it really um yeah it just diffuses it with good energies because of the fire that's been in there because of the salt that's still in there of course i'm always really careful when i place crystals depending on the crystal just directly on the salt so that's for now how I, the two ways that I use my cauldron. I'm, um, like I said, I'm still a, a beginner to this, new to this. And I think whenever I feel more comfortable, I'll try out other things. And I really like Joy Morris's video because she talked about um, how she uses different elements in different cauldrons, like the element of water in her ceramic one or a porcelain one, a porcelain one, I believe, and then the element of fire in the other ones for fire magic. So that's it. Basically, that's what I'm doing with my cauldron right now. And I'm very excited because there's, it just seems like a whole new world and new things that I can learn to do. And I, I really like my cauldron. It's not one that, like, that's, like I said, it's not very fancy. I didn't purchase it from a, a, a really nice new age metaphysical shop. It's, it's kind of ghetto, but I love it for that. And, and I'm really looking forward to maybe hearing about how you guys use your cauldron. So thanks so much for watching and I'm sending you lots of blessings. Have a great night and see you in the next videos. Bye.